hey guys, it's me, Betts Golden. I am just wanting to make a card today, a different kind of card today, and I thought I would share. I wasn't going to share, but um, I was just going to do it on my blog, but I thought, you know, this is kind of cool, because I did some experimenting just a few minutes ago, and I'll show you that. But what I'm using is, I have this really cute new stamp set um, by Joy Claire. It's called No Problema. No, no, excuse me, No Problema. I just love it. And I'm going to, and I live in the Southwest. We have a lot of birthdays in, in June. And so I have so many opportunities to give a card, but I wanted to get away from like the card, the paper cards. So I'm going to make a card out of this Clear Scraps Birch Wood little cupcake booklet. There's a second piece to this. I'm going to show you that to you in a minute because I've already been playing. And I want to stamp this image right here across the top like so and do like the kooky little llama maybe coming off the bottom and you know a little sentiment and then on the inside I'm going to do a fringe um a fringe just to really add to that southwest super vibrant colorful fun flair but I have some special stuff I want to do to the front of this um, and I want to use color burst on it, but I want it to look really tie dyed and not so blended and watercolory. My hands are dirty, sorry. So I went ahead and I played because it's wood and I haven't used color burst on, burst on wood before, right? So I thought it would be super, it would like be hard to move. So the first time I did it, um, I did it where I misted the wood down first then laid the color burst out and watched it move and it moved into this beautiful watercolory um type background i really like it and i also put on some um, mixed metals and platinum on it so i'm like that's kind of cool and then the back was partially wet and had color burst on it so i decided to not mist it down and just do some color burst in spots and that was really neat and so on the front of this, I'm going to do something a little bit scary and then I'm going to mix all these colors. I'm going to put them all in the front and I might get mud, but I'm just, I'm not really going to soak it. So I'm hoping they don't really blend well together. I hope that they kind of stay separate and just look like random splats of color on the wood. So let's see if, if, I, if that works. And I'm just using um, the Ken Oliver Color Burst, which is basically pigmented paint, pigmented watercolor. It interacts with water and it moves around. The more water you use, the um, more transparent it gets and the more fluid like it gets, the more it moves. So I'm gonna try to use less water and um, see what happens. I don't think I'm going to use the mixed metals in this just because you really do need it to have more of this type background on it, unless you're going for a galaxy background. So it needs to be, you know, a little bit more mm, blendable and I don't want to blend it per se. So I'm just going to lay out some color and like I said, this is a super colorful card, so I'm just going to just do a whole bunch. And you can't really see it, which is kind of normal. All right. And I'm like, I may get mud. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right. So I have five colors laid out here, and I really want this yellow to be more apparent and so I'm trying to keep the like colors at the top I can put a little bit of orange into that yellow just fine and I can do a little bit I'll tap off some red right there and so I'm just gonna go over some of the spots that I've already done so this is kind of a lot just so you know all right and I'm gonna take my Ken Oliver mister I'm just going to mist it down. Let's just see. See how I'm like really being sparse with my water? I don't want to water it too much. Because it'll still move. 
And I think I'm happy with that. Like, I love how that looks. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to let it dry. You can take a heat gun to this, but that's still, that moves around the color and pushes it in places. And I just want it to move on its own and dry naturally. And then I'm going to come back after it's all dry. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do that cupcake because it's a pretty cute little idea. I hope this all works. This dried pretty much overnight and then what I did was I took this I love this stamp the banner stamp stamped it and used my Jane Davenport paint over pins to color in each of the banners I love how it turned out really love how just fun this is and then I stamped a sentiment down here it wasn't hard to stamp on considering that it's wood it actually was quite easy what shocked me was at first i tried to emboss the banner and it didn't really emboss well so i just went over it with a permanent ink pad and some ink and it was perfect so this is a really great substrate to use a lot of your paper crafting um type you know mediums on. Now we're going to do something kind of special with our cupcake. I'm going to take this double-sided, basically it's an adhesive sheet by Elizabeth Craft. I really like this. I'm going to lay it on the back just like this. And then now this, there's a sticky side right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up that top. I'm going to take some glitter and just pop some glitter in this bottom, uh, these, this bottom little area, like so. So I'm going to do blue glitter there. Look how pretty. And then I'm just going to take the excess and tap it off on into here like so and I'm going to do the top in pink glitter so I'm going to take this and with this one you really don't have to cover it up because it's already set with the the glitter but I'm going to anyway and then I'm going to just put some pink glitter as my frosting And then again, we're going to just tap that off. Look at that. Look how cute that front, that little base is. The front of a little mini album or a card. So on the back, it's not so pretty, which is okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this adhesive sheet so that the, this is exposed like so. And then I'm going to take these other little pieces of the same paper I had extra of, and I'm just going to apply them around and um, do a sentiment. So you're just going to use this double-sided adhesive literally as tape at this point because I just had a little bit left it's super sticky so I created this card for the um, back of this and it's so cute how holy guacamole it's your birthday and I just love the little llama oh so sweet and I backed it against a piece of coordinating pattern paper that I thought would be nice and then I'm just going to adhere it to the back so now the front is cute and then open it up and the back is cute too the back side of this is going to be a fringe and you can catch that over on the blog that I have linked down below and it is so simple to add some pages in here for a little mini album. How fun is this project? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Check out the link down below to check out the Joy Claire um, store and their website and their blog for some more inspiration and opportunity to shop. I'm Bets Golden. Until next time, happy crafting.